Welcome to another video. In this video, I will not be teaching or explaining any concepts. I will just be introducing you to a beautiful, wonderful, magical number. It is called Capricor's Constant. Now, this is amazing. Um, I was not aware of this number until I started doing some research on another number and this one showed up and I went, this is mind blowing. So for some of you, you already know about this number, but I know for many people, they, they've never heard of Capricor's constant and it's a magical number because it's the number that never goes away. Let's get into the video. Let me tell you a little about Capricor. He was an Indian, I would not say an Indian mathematician, I would say he was what they call a recreational mathematician. I didn't know there was something like that. So someone who just plays with mathematics. They're not trying to prove a point, but they just love numbers and they work with numbers and they discover something. He actually found so many things and defined so many types of numbers, okay, things like Capricor's numbers and self numbers. These are numbers you haven't heard about, I believe, but these are the things that he worked on. But the most amazing of them is Capricor's constant. And what is Capricor's constant? 6,174 is Capricor's constant. And you're going to ask me, what's special about this number? Well, let's begin. If you try to rearrange the digits of this number, so that you, you form the biggest possible number, what are you gonna get? You're gonna get 7,641. That's the biggest number you can get. And if you try to get the smallest number using just this digit digits, you're gonna get one, four, six, seven. So Capricor's constant is concerned with four digit numbers. Let me give you another example. If you pick the number 1000, it's a four digit number. If you want to rearrange the digits so that the smallest number shows up, well, you have to do 0001. It is allowed to use zeros as place numbers if you don't have enough digits. You just put zeros anywhere you want to put them, but you need four digits. So that's the picture of Capricor's constant. And this is the rule. If you subtract, the smallest, so 7641 minus, you subtract the smallest, which is 1467. Your answer, that's the crazy thing about this number, is going to be 6174. Now, a skeptic is going to say, yeah, this is just a coincidence that maybe if we do it for another number, something like that might happen. The point is, it doesn't happen. <laughs> but if you keep going, you're going to come back to 6174. Every time you pick a four-digit number and you do this, what we just did to this number to it, you're going to get different numbers if you continue the process within seven steps you're going to arrive at 6174 and there's nowhere else to go you're stuck with 6174 i don't know the theory behind it i cannot prove it yet because i just started reading about it but this was fascinating so let's take a good example let's take four three two one. Let's say we want to start with 4321. That's our number. So the first iteration of this calculation would be the biggest possible number formed with these digits would be 4321 minus 1234. Okay? If I do this calculation, what am I supposed to get? Well, because I don't want to make a mistake, I'm just going to use my calculator. Okay? I get 3087. So I'm going to start with this again. I'm going to find 
the biggest number I can get from this is going to be 8730. So I have 8730 minus the smallest number. Remember, I need four digits. So I'm going to arrange it in this order, which is going to be 0, 3, 7, 8. What's going to be this difference? So we got 8352. We do it again. So what makes this fun is you might randomly pick a number and start doing this and see which one gives you the fastest arrival at 6174 or the longest time to get to 6174. But whatever you do within seven steps, you will arrive at 6174. That's why it's a special process. Okay, so if we do this, the biggest number here is going to be 8, 5, 3, 2, and the smallest is 2, 3, 5, 8. See, it's easy. You just reverse the order of the numbers. 6, 1, 7, 4. I was thinking this was going to take long for it to arrive at 6, 1, 7, 4, but I only had to do this three times. Now you can play this game with your friends and say, you pick a number and let's see who arrives at 6174 the fastest. Now, can you figure out what rules you need to follow? Yeah, I'm just leaving it. So like I said, I'm not teaching you anything. I'm just introducing you to this wonderful number 6174. However, before you go, there are some numbers that are going to give you a problem, especially numbers that all the digits are the same. You know, you, you, there's no difference between the biggest number and the smallest number. Like if you pick the number 2222, two, 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 well, the biggest number is 2222. Two, two, two. So you're going to end up at zero. So generally, it is either you end up at zero or you end up at 6174. So for this rule to work, your digits have to not be all the same. At least one of them has to be different. Let's try something. Let's try 1000. Let's try 1000. Looks like it doesn't make any sense, right? But let's try it. Okay, so let's use the number 1000. The biggest number you can get from 1000 is 1000. And the smallest number you can get is 0001. So let's do 0001. What's the answer to this? This should be 9999, right? But we're going to write it as 0999. I don't want to write my nines like this anymore. I didn't used to write nine like this. I don't know what happened. Zero, nine, nine, nine. Okay, so these are my zero, nine, nine, nine. What's the biggest number I can get from this? It's going to be nine, 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 zero minus the smallest number would be zero, nine, nine, nine. Okay, if we do this subtraction, what do we get? We're going to get eight, nine, nine, one. We rearrange this again. It's going to be 9981. That's the biggest number. 9981 minus this is going to be 1899. Okay, if we do this subtraction again, 8082. If we rearrange this again, we're going to get 8820 minus 0288. Okay, this might take a longer process. Remember, seven is the maximum. Eight, five, three, two. Okay, it looks like we still need have more work to do. Okay, the biggest number we can get from here will be eight, five. Oh, it's eight, five, three, two. Let's write it. Eight, five, three, two minus the smallest number is going to be two, three, five, eight. Okay, let's see. <laughs> it is six, one, seven, four. Ah, I thought I was going to have to get to the seventh iteration, but no, it's one, two, three, four, five, only five steps. Okay. Maybe you can find that number. I know some numbers, but I just wanted to work with that. Get a number that will require all seven steps to get to six, one, seven, four. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.